and welcome back. Today I am doing what my toddlers eat in a day but I'm actually filming it over three days, very different days of the week to give you a very true idea of what my kids eat in a day. To start the mornings off, every morning my kids have a Milo. I don't know if it's an Australian tradition or a family tradition but my kids have always just had a warm Milo to get the mornings going. Even when I was breastfeeding them, they still like to have their Milo bottles. So it's something we'll continue to do until they are ready to stop. Now it is winter at the moment, so kids for breakfast have a range of warm options. We either do porridge, wheat bix, or honey on toast. My kids do like these options and that is what they have. <laughs> Yummy? Yummy? I like that mummy. Alright guys, we have had a busy morning and I'm just getting their morning tea ready. Hang on a sec. Sorry, neighbours are starting to do gardening. So for their morning tea, they're each going to have a Hulk pancake. I have these on a YouTube video. Full of veg and my kids love them. My kids always love a crunch, so they're just gonna get some Jets crackers. They'll probably eat more Jets crackers than I want them to, or whatever. And then I'm just gonna cut up some, the strawberries, raspberries, and some grapes. And this is the leftovers of Little Miss. You just had your drink? Thank you. So she actually ate pretty well, given how big their breakfast was this morning. Little man. Where is he? Still going. Edison, did you eat your morning tea? Yeah. Look at mummy. Did you like your morning tea? Yeah. What was your favourite morning tea? That's the strawberries and the Hulk. The strawberries and Hulk. So he actually ate really well. I thought he would have eaten the raspberries, but anyway. And I actually thought he would have eaten the two Hulk. So that will go back in the fridge. They'll get eaten by me. Alright guys, I've just made some, well, they're currently baking, some scones. She's good. And I've just put some cream, and I wasn't going to share this, but it's what my kids eat in a day. And I'm going to let them lick the whip, and I put them on a spatula for little miss to have, so...
Nice little hot pan, I'm gonna use it. Zoe! Now the dog wants some. Zoe, come here, you can have yours here. Alright, my son just said he was hungry. It's 10.20, so I've just cut him four strawberries. He wants them whole, so I've just taken the green parts off and he's gonna have four strawberries. No, no, no. For lunch today, they're having pumpkin soup with toast. My kids usually just have a sandwich for lunch, which is usually on a rice cracker, peanut butter and Vegemite. But we did have some leftover pumpkin soup in the fridge, so I thought I'd offer it for lunch today, and they actually done pretty well. No, no. Give me a big thumbs up, is it yummy? I'll get you more Edison here, thumbs up. Is it good? This is the aftermath. Little man had probably two bites and two spoonfuls, so didn't really eat. Little miss done really well. So she's eaten a whole piece of toast and a little bit there. And then this is just what's left over. I forgot to show you guys. He's just having a kiwi fruit. Is it really nice? You like kiwi fruit? Do I get a thumbs up for kiwi fruit? Well, that's good. Uh, just a kiwi fruit, that's what he felt like eating. It is currently quarter to two. Okay, now before I show you the kids' afternoon tea, this is what I talk about all the time on my Instagram page about I look at their meals. I look at their food as a whole for the day. So for afternoon tea, this is all they're having is some Nutri-Grain in a bowl. That is it. For my kids have eaten really well today. I'm really happy with what they've eaten. And I think just a little snack between now and dinner is all they need. Okay, little miss, we had a little meltdown. I did not film it because I don't do that. Uh, she had a meltdown. She did not eat her afternoon tea. Let me just turn this TV down. They're obsessed. Well, she's obsessed with Coca Melon. Don't mind my house. Uh, we had a little mini meltdown. We did not eat our Nutri-Grain afternoon tea snack. And she's just decided now she wants a banana and he's just copying because she got a banana. Sorry, that lighting was really bad. So I know a lot of parents don't like to feed their kids an hour, 45 minutes, two hours before dinner because they don't eat their dinner. I would like to be like that, but my kids can get really hangry. So right now it is quarter to four and we usually eat around five. So I'm probably gonna push dinner back till about 5.30 tonight. They're eating a banana, it's healthy. It does not bother me, they are hungry. If you're hungry, you would eat. My kids are hungry, so I'm feeding them. So what will happen tonight with their dinner is they'll still get an offering of everything. I just won't have a higher expectation if they don't eat it. It's the next day, again, Groundhog Day. My kids always have their morning bottles. Again, it's just Milo. This morning, I am offering them honey on toast. My kids could eat up to four slices of this breakfast. I do try and limit it to two. Unless they didn't eat dinner the night before, then I'll offer them an additional one. My son loves honey on toast. Now, I've got to be careful because we can go through three loaves of bread a week if I offer it every day. And that is why I try to have a few different options for breakfast, just so I'm not running out of food.
light morning tea today. I have just got the kids' plates and their little cupcake holders. I got those from eBay a while ago. Today's morning tea is going to be some homemade popcorn. I've got some watermelon, berries, Nutri-Grain from the other day. They're loving it. And I'll see how I go. I'll just get dished up. All right, might not, not, might not look very appetizing, but I know my kids are gonna eat it. It's just popcorn, Nutri-Grain cereal, and some watermelon for Little Miss. And Little Man has exactly the same, but he's got berries because he prefers berries. So, doesn't look good, but my kids will eat it and they like it. Today my daughter requested yogurt which is totally fine but I'd also made some homemade little hot dogs. If you want the recipe let me know, I will do a video on it. So I've offered them both for lunch and they actually done pretty well with how much they ate given it was a new food they haven't tried before. That's left over. All the yogurt got eaten. All the yogurt got eaten. Okay, so lunch is done. Just about to put Little Miss down for sleep. She's literally just grabbed. The box out of the pantry and I think she's eating them. I don't know. Little man has requested two sandwiches. In our house, sandwiches are either cruskets or rice cakes. And he's got one with peanut butter and one with Vegemite. So he's going to have that and then he's going to get ready for a nap. Kids had massive naps today so they did not have afternoon tea and because they ate so much throughout the day I don't have an expectation they're going to eat dinner. They did surprise me and do fairly well so I decided tonight we would do some dessert and it is just jelly, packet jelly um, made from home in the fridge and little man had some strawberries on the side as well. Now day three, day three is actually a daycare day. I've offered the kids some wheat bix it's actually Vitabrits wheat bix I think it's the same thing. For breakfast, they just have some warm milk and two wheat bix each. They really enjoy it. I find this is great, it's nice and filling for daycare. My daycare provides food, they get morning tea, lunch and afternoon tea. So I do know they have four bellies and I do get like a daily report card so I can see what they've eaten so I can plan their dinner for the evening. Now my kids done so well this morning, you'll see halfway through this clip here that little miss actually went back for seconds. She didn't go back for seconds, my husband refilled her bowl for her. Uh, and my son, he ate all of his two wheat bigs. So I'm very happy with him going to school on a full belly. They always take a piece of fruit with them for the walk home, the daycare offers it. Little Miss had a banana and Little Man had an apple and I'm going to be completely honest, I offered them dinner and they did not want it. So tonight it was literally a late afternoon piece of fruit and that was their rest of their meals for the day. Uh, it's not too noisy now so I can kind of talk. So I always offer the kids dinners. I will change it for you, darling. So I always offer them a dinner, knowing they're probably not gonna eat it. So what I usually do is have a container ready to go. So if they don't eat, go into the container and my husband and I will have leftovers for lunch the next day. I actually forgot to film an outro, guys, but that is the end. That is what my kids eat in a day.